Listen all these on that option. Get the mask on my face like catch Don't come my phone unless you tryna cop. I'll pull up and serve you well. Yo! Welcome to Camp TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Roman.com and wherever else. And guys, we got some good news, but so long story short, a certain GM got can. Definitely gotta talk about that. We also gotta talk about how I believe it was sabotage. Definitely gotta talk about that. And what the Panthers outlook is from here going forward. Because now he's out the door. There's gonna be some uh changes going around. So we got a lot to talk about today, guys. So let's get started. It's been a long, long time coming. I'm so happy to tell you guys that Marty Herney has been fired. I've been saying Marty Herney has been fired last year. I've been, I've been, I've been out on Marty Herney for a long time. So I'm happy that he is no longer terrorizing my Carolina Panthers. I'm very happy about that. Marty Herney has not been a good GM by any stretch of the imagination. The first time he was a GM for the Panthers, he destroyed our cap space. You know what I'm saying? The only good thing he ever did is, does is draft first round draft picks. His first round draft picks tend to be good. But every other draft pick outside of that tends to be horrible. Um, and he wasn't good the first time. He gets fired because of his relationship with Jerry Richardson and Dave Gettleman and Jerry Richardson getting into it, whatever. Dave Gettleman gets fired again, and he brings back his old reliable, which is Marty Herney, who didn't have a job. That's why he was able to get hired again. And he came back to the Panthers and did the same thing. I guess he was a little bit better with the cap this time, but he was just still a horrible GM. So him being fired, no love lost there. I've been saying he should got fired from the very beginning. Me personally, last year, if I was David Tipper, I would have fired Marty Herning, and I would have got rid of Ron Rivera, even though Ron Rivera looks amazing in Washington. But I would have hired Eric Benemy, you know what I'm saying, obviously, which I've talked about, and I would have got another GM, you know what I'm saying, because obviously you need somebody with offensive minded. You had a very good quarterback in Cam Newton. But what they decided to do was get rid of Cam, get rid of Ron Rivera, keep Marty Herning, which made no sense. And then move forward, which, again, like I said, I'm happy he's gone. There's no love loss for me and Marty Herney. Y'all already know that. So that's how I feel about that. But um, but I got to get into some other stuff, too, because, yes, as much as I'm happy that Marty Herney is gone, there was some foul play. Though I'm excited that Marty Herney is gone, it was sabotage. It was absolutely, unequivocally sabotage. And this is why I say that, right? Marty, okay, the main reason why the Panthers had a bad season this season was because of Teddy Bridgewater. They showed a stat against the uh, Packers, which was in the same situation. The Panthers were, oh, well, now 0-8, but at that time 0-7 on game-winning drives. It was like missed opportunities, interceptions, fumbles, all kind of turnovers. You know, missed opportunities or not getting in field goal range. We lost, I think, seven of our last, well, not, I think eight of our last nine in one score. We lost by one score, you know what I'm saying? Because that is Teddy Bridgewater not completing the drive at the end of the game. If you switch out that quarterback and, let's say, put in Patrick Mahomes, our record would probably be flipped. We, instead of being we, instead of being 10 and uh, uh, 4 and 10, we'll be like 10 and 4. Because at the end of the day, Patrick Mahomes can get it done at the end of the game. Teddy Bridgewater cannot. And the person that was beating the table and driving the force to get Teddy Bridgewater was Matt Rule and Joe Brady. Why? Because Joe Brady had a relationship with Teddy Bridgewater when he was in Saints. And he said he already knew his system, as he put it. And Matt Rule was trying to acquiesce his offensive of coordinator. That is the issue I'm talking about. That is the sabotage I'm talking about. Now, no, don't get me wrong. Matt, Matt, Matty Herney, Marty Herney was never good. So, like I said, there's no love lost there. But I feel like they had him there as a scapegoat for the horrible season that is that happened this year. They wanted somebody to be like, we could blame who? We can't blame Matt Rule. He has a seven-year contract. We can't blame Joe, uh, Joe Brady. He just, you know, this is our first, first year. We're going to blame Matt, Marty Herney, get him out of there. Now they're saying he wants somebody database and all that bull crap. That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they it was because of the quarterback that seven or eight out of the last nine losses that we had were because the game winning drives that the quarterback could not complete. We're 0 and 8 in game winning drives in the end of the game. That is not Martin Hurts' fault. That is absolutely Matt Rule and Joe Brady's fault 
because they wanted Teddy Bridgewater. We have the receivers. The O line is not great. I'm not sitting there saying the O line is great. But again, that's something they knew before the season started. And they wanted to get rid of players and free up cap space and do all this stuff and not actually help out the O line. So that falls under them. So he got rid of Marty Herney as a scapegoat so Matt Rule and Joe Brady don't look bad. But let's be honest. It's all of them. All of them have not have not done well. Coaching wise, Matt Rule had made mistakes this year. Joe Brady, you know, his offense, like I said, is dink and dunk. Now, mind you, if you have a better quarterback, they can, you know, attack further down the field. And Teddy Bridgewater is too afraid to attack further down the field. That's the problem with this offense and with this team. So again, Marty Herney, don't be fooled, guys, is a scapegoat. They got rid of him because they didn't want to blame Matt Rule and Joe Brady. So don't be fooled. This, this, they're going to be like, oh, it's Marty Herney's fault. The draft picks that Marty Herney got, Jeremy Chin is a runner for the, is basically a candidate for the physical rookie of the year. Derrick Brown is good. He's okay. he, he drafted well. It was just a quarterback that was the problem. And finally, guys, this is the outlook going forward. So the Panthers are in fourth place in the draft right now. You know what I'm saying? Projected. We're in fourth place because Cowboys won, so now we're fourth, right? Now, check this out. So the Bengals are in front of us. They're not going to draft a quarterback. They got Joe Burrow. That's good. The Jets and the Jags are in front of us, right? Now Jags are number one because Jets won a game, which I think is the dumbest thing ever. But, okay, so, and from what I'm seeing, Justin Fields might be drop, dropping down draft boards because he had a bad game or whatever. He threw, like, two picks, no touchdowns or something like that. And they're like, oh, man, you know, this guy, don't ever compare him to Trevor Lawrence. I've seen all this stuff. Oh, man, da, da, da. Listen, I think Justin Fields is a good quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a good quarterback. I'm happy he's dropping down draft boards because if Zach Wilson creeps up above Justin Fields, from Birmingham Young, Brigham, no, Brigham Young University, that's what it is. If Zach Wilson creeps up above Justin Fields, he'll go number two to the Jets, and then Justin Fields will drop to number four to the Panthers, which is my dream scenario. Now, if we get Justin Fields, this team could be very good. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, get an O-line, get some people in front of him, but we definitely need a quarterback. And we're in position, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. We're in position. This is a good position for us. Um, would it be better to be number two? Sure. Or number one? Sure. But, you know, we're not in that situation. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think we're going to be in that situation by the end of the year. But uh, for me, the Panthers, they will have a bright future if they get Justin Fields. You know what I'm saying? We can get, if we keep the receivers. You know what I'm saying? Keep Curry Samuel, sign him to a contract. Keep Taylor Moten. You know what I'm saying? We got Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore. Offense will be good. Fix up the line a little bit. Fix up the secondary. We'll be a good team. Um, but that just depends on how they spend their money and what they do. You know, so we'll see how that whole thing plays out. But again, they're gonna make it seem like this is all their idea, and it's not. Matt Rule. They're saying they're gonna talk to Matt Rule about, you know, they're gonna consult him on GMP. This is the thing, guys. Matt Rowe has such a long leash, there's no way he's going to be able to fail. Ron Rivera didn't have a leash that long. You know what I'm saying? He was always worrying about, you know, contract renewals and stuff like that. And he, 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 was, very, he was very good, actually, um, when he was. So, for me, it's like, do I, I'm happy about the Justin Field thing. The, you know, us probably getting them. Or possibly getting them. Um, but, I just feel like, they're trying to, they're going to, they, they put Matt, Marty Herney as a scapegoat and they was planning on tanking from the very beginning. And I feel like if they were, that was the case, they should have just never got Teddy Bridgewater, just went with Will Greer and maybe we'll be in a situation to get Trevor Lawrence or just our pick of the quarterback. But we're not, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Like I said, I think, you know, the future looks bright because they're going to get another GM and I didn't like Marty Herney from the very beginning. But I'm not going to let them try to slick us and tell us that it was Marty Herney's fault that, for this season. Because it was not. It was definitely Matt Rule and Joe Brady and their wanting of Teddy Bridgewater and what they just did overall. It is not a good idea. Teddy, you know, people are like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we're so close to winning games. It's not about that. You know what I'm saying? It's about winning games. It's not being, you know, there's no medal for being close to winning. You know what I'm saying? So, 
like I said, I'm happy Marty Herney's gone, but I'm watching Matt Rule and Joe Brady because they're going to try to make him be the scapegoat and be the reason. He is not the reason. All right. He did what they wanted him to do, which is get Teddy Bridgewater. He just did, you know, because again, he was on short leash anyways. He knew he was going to get fired or, you know, possibly get fired if they didn't have a good season. And sure enough, he got fired. So, well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the circle with things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Roman.com and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. How do you feel about Marty Hurting being fired? I'm ecstatic about it, but I'm not going to let them scapegoat him also. Put that in the comment section below. Tell me how you feel about that. Check out my dog, Renan Stevens' channel. Very funny, very talented dude. Definitely check him out. Um, also, get in the comment section, man. I'm thinking about doing uh, the membership uh, for my loyal fans. Uh, it will be a subscription base, but I'll have a lot more content there. Get in the comment section. Let me know if you want to do, you know, if you want me to do that because I, I, I have a lot more ideas, but, um, you know, just got to find a way to kind of get them in there. Um, and you'll, you'll get exclusive content as far as that. Uh, make sure you uh, get in the comment section. Let me have a about the market or anything. Check out the podcast when I do them. And uh, I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.